touch it over here with the bucket wood. Should be good. Ready? Yep. There we go. We out here at the World Market. I had to come pick up my Walker's wood. Famous jerk seasoning. This is the only thing I will ever jerk with is Walker's wood. You use this for steak, chicken, salsas, eggs, anything really you want to marinate. The longer you let this thing marinate, the better it is. Walker's wood. There's a new, a new company that hit me up on Instagram just a few days ago. Eaton's. And I requested a uh, trial package from them just so I can see what kind of flavors they had in this. This is their jerk seasoning right here. I think the biggest difference with them is they have a mild flavor. And Walker's Wood doesn't have a mild. That stuff's good. Have you oh, had that yes, before? I love Walker's I know. Wood. I've been, it's yummy. been eating it for about 10 years now. Have you really? Oh, yeah. It's yellow. I haven't tried the new one that's out. Um, the Eaton's you got back there? Yeah. How, how is that one? We've sold a lot of it, so I'm going to say it's good. Oh. Here really soon. 
buddy, how you doing today? I'm alright. Uh, what, what is your four main mix? The beef? The four main mix? Four kinds of beef. Four kinds of beef. Is that what makes it so special? Really? Okay. You don't, you don't ask me what kind of beef you know. No. Uh, of Otherwise, course. I would have to hire you. <laughs> oh, you have to hire me, yeah. huh? Okay. I bet you don't like that. Alright, that sounds good. Can I, uh, can I see this one? Is that yeah. the serving size you suggest? Um, my serving size. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it's a. Six ninety eight pounds. Six ninety eight pounds. Fifty pounds, please. I'm gonna try these gourmet burgers tonight. See what they do. Instead of eating it with bread, we're gonna do like a lettuce wrap, protein. Get the bread out of our diet and just try something new. So much, bro. I appreciate that. I'll be here to start work next Monday so we can figure out what's in this meat. Alright. I'll hold you on to that. You got your project now. Instead of butter lettuce, what we're gonna do is we're gonna substitute because it's right here. You got the green leaf lettuce, which is really the same thing. Butter lettuce is just a little bit more delicate, but this will work for us. So that way we can make these burgers. Protein style. Back in the kitchen. Just got back from the farmer's market. We picked up the, a special cut, a special blend of uh, hamburger meat. And uh, we're, we're gonna make this for you tonight without the bread. We're just gonna use lettuce. We're also gonna make some home fries, some red potato home fries using our Walker's Wood jerk season. First thing you want to do is chop your red potatoes. Don't worry about peeling them. Just chop them. You want to get them in squares. Just want to make sure they chop really good. sink over there. It's easier to uh, just chop and toss them right in there. However your kitchen set up, you know. This was about 
six small red potatoes. You want to take a half of an onion. Yellow onion works, that's fine. Peel it. I'm going to slice it the same way. There we go. Dice like that. Simply want to take our walkers wood. Now this is really spicy. Really spicy. So it just depends on how spicy you like things. If you don't want it that spicy, then don't use a lot. Today, we, we don't want it that spicy. So we're only going to use a uh, half of a half of a half of a teaspoon of this walker's wood. You just drop it right in there, like so. Mm, you can smell all the scotch bonnet peppers and the the rooted seasonings and stuff that they use in Jamaica in there. Really good. Then you want to use some olive oil, a drizzle of olive oil. It's gonna help it get golden and crisp. Mediterranean sea salt. Fresh cracked pepper. If it's not fresh cracked pepper, we're not using it. You save that other powdered stuff for another show. But not on this one. Not today. Simply just want to toss this up together. Got a nice mixture in there. You always want to make sure you're cleaning up after yourself in this kitchen too, man. Always. If you're cooking something, clean up right after yourself. So now we got our oven set at 400. Take a regular cookie sheet. We got the olive oil on here already. Simply want to spread these out evenly on the cookie sheet. Evenly. Bake these for about 30 minutes at 400. All right, so now we back from the butcher, got this meat. This blend right here was a special blend. It's 20% fat. 25. 25% fat. And four different cuts of meat. It's all beef. But this was supposed to be the special chef's blend. Okay? So we're, we're gonna do these burgers Properly. Oh, they're so soft. It's so nice, though. Ugh. So we're not gonna we're not gonna smash the life out of these burgers, okay? And we're not gonna season the life out of these burgers either. We gotta keep this really simple and plain, because we want to taste the flavor of this meat. Meat. And yes, we are gonna cook these at high heat in the broiler. So you simply just want to hit it with the fresh cracked pepper on one side, seasoning, salt on the other, press down, press down, there we go, 
And then you want to repeat on the other side. Fresh cracked pepper. Mediterranean salt. Press it down. Okay. You want to repeat those with all four of these burgers. Salt and pepper, that's it, folks. Salt and pepper, that's it. I, I hate to emphasize, but the way we do it over here is we use salt and pepper and we let this meat do the talking. Because what's the point of buying hamburger beef meat if you don't like the taste of beef? If we wanted the taste of a flavor or a, or, or, or a season and the ketchup and the mustard, then that would all be inside of here. Let's just keep it as regular as possible. Meat. Perfect patty for you. We're gonna cook this for four minutes on each side. This is my rib. We're gonna cook this for four minutes on each side under the broiler at 500 degrees. All right, when you guys counting your macros, you know, in the gym and you're watching your, your diet, this is about 8.45 ounces, which is almost 50 grams of protein. This is about 50 grams of protein to your diet. So if you're counting your macros, this is pretty rich in protein for you. Yep. These burgers right here are gonna be cooked in a broiler, 400 degrees. Keep that thing real hot. Hot broiler. Hot. We got the green leaf lettuce instead of the butter lettuce, which is fine. We're gonna make protein burgers tonight. We're not gonna use any of the bread. So you simply wanna start by Pulling these whole leaves off from the outside. You just want to find the, the best leaves you can find. If you see some with brown edges on them, just pick them out and toss them. No need to try to salvage it. It's all right. So you're probably going to use four of these pieces per burger. So we got enough in there. Make sure you wash your produce. I don't know where you get your produce from, but it comes from the ground and other people handle it. So you want to make sure you wash it at all times. Get the sand off, get the excess sand, excess dirt. Sometimes there's little bugs that nest in lettuce, mainly ladybugs. If you're in California, ladybugs, real bad. Beef, you don't want to play around with it. You only want 
flip it one time, let that blood run through it one time and one time only. You don't flip the pad, they flip the pad, you don't keep doing it. This is the color you're looking for right here. You don't want to press this meat down. Because all you're doing is you're pushing the natural flavors and the natural juices out of the meat. Simply want to scoop it, and there's your flip. These burgers are right on time. There we go. These burgers are done. You don't want to bust right into these burgers. You want to let them rest. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. We're gonna add the cheese to them now. Chop up some onions down for the burger. Red potatoes are done. These are soft potatoes. So you don't have to cook them as long as you would cook a rustic potato. So you just want to make sure you get these nice and soft brown on the outside. The flavor is outstanding. Mmm. Look at all those burgers. That's the burgers after resting. I turned everything off and I just let them rest down there for a while. And you can see the cheese melted on there perfectly good. And the drippings that's coming out. And these are medium rare burgers. It's kind of red blood coming out, but you can also see the clearness coming out. That is the perfect burger. That is the perfect look we're looking for. Now for plating. Simply want to just take your lettuce. Take a little bit of your jerk mayonnaise. Hmm? You take this beautiful burger. Mm. And a little bit of our famous sriracha. Oh, do we love to use this around here? Simply finish. Another piece of nice. And there you have it.
I'm here to uh, try this. Hit these. Mmm. Hit these potatoes first. I can hardly taste it. Mmm. Yeah, you can really taste the cracked pepper. In the, a little bit of spice on those potatoes, you can really taste it. That jerk seasoning goes a, a long way. It's a great way to eat potatoes, man. Mmm. Let's try this burger. Oh, yeah. Alright. I like to get all the flavors in at once. And... As you can see from this meat, it's still uh, it's still pink in there, man. Like it's it's cooked perfectly. That shit's cooked perfectly. All right, let's try this.